Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Dakar Ages. So again, we're in Dakar Dale, and I'm going to kind of uh, continue on from, from where we left off with the last episode, and just going to build up a couple of the bits of the town. Um, so I asked you last episode for a couple of suggestions and some ideas, and you guys came back with a lot of really nice ideas um, that I'm actually going to be implementing in this episode. Um, there is a couple that actually won't be in this episode, as they are kind of a later finishing end product. Uh, but the first thing I really wanted to do was build a sawmill. And I wanted to do this with the water wheel, which is kind of the reason I actually built the uh, kind of river and stream going down into and then going over that, underneath that bridge and creating that waterfall. And I really took this kind of idea from Skyrim. I wanted that kind of style, because I remember seeing it in when playing Skyrim really early on, and I think it looked really, really cool. So I've kind of taken a lot of inspiration from that and try to recreate it in Minecraft, but also add my own flair to it. Um, so you can just see me putting in the kind of basic framework for the actual roof style, the kind of uh, kind of covering it up, and I've also used iron bars for the actual saw blade because we don't really have that much else, but you can also see me uh, cutting down into the actual floor and making these kind of grooved parts where the actual logs will go after they've been cut. And you can now just see me kind of making a really basic roof design because there's not really too much I could do with this one uh, with it being a really simple roof, but it also uh, it's quite nice actually just having a simple roof. So you can just see me adding a bit of detail and using these item frames this time to go around it, which I'm still not 100% sure on, but it kind of adds a little bit extra detail to it. And you can see that I've actually got a ramp as well going, going up to the actual sawmill. Uh, so that you can actually get all the wood up there quite easily. And one thing I really want to do with this episode is actually start on the housing. And uh, what you don't really see a lot in Minecraft are these kind of 45 degree houses. So I really want to get one of these in the episode and kind of hopefully show you guys a technique at some point um, within a tutorial. To actually do these really easily because they're not as not as difficult as you might think. Um, there is a couple of techniques that you can actually use to get the kind of roofs right and to get the actual structure right as well. And one thing that one of my subscribers said, the Apocalypse Gaming, was was actually to put a smithy in. And I actually did change the location to this because I because it's only a small town. It only really needs a small kind of smithy and only needs a small blacksmith. Um, so I've kind of tried to make this one, you know, quite small for the actual town and try and make it fit with the size of the town as well. And I really want to go with a kind of different style with this one and kind of do it a, a bit more random, not as um, kind of perfectly symmetrical as most of my builds are usually. Quite symmetrical um, and you can now see me just putting in the extra detail here and um, there's actually a furnace in there an anvil and kind of a workbench and also the cauldron and just adding an extra window up here just to make it look a little bit more uh, kind of jutting out and you can see the kind of end product is quite simple um, but it's also got kind of a lot of detail in it and you can just see the wares on show from the smithy there another thing i want to do is kind of work on the dock still i just add a little bit extra in and you can just see me building this kind of 45 degree warehouse, which I'm really happy with the end product. And I think you guys will agree at the end, it does look really cool and actually fits in with the style of Dakadale quite nicely. Um, so you can just see me adding in more of the detail and kind of playing around with a couple of ideas and trying to kind of make a kind of Nordic style uh, 45 degree house, which is really, well, not house, but a warehouse, which is really difficult. Uh, you can see the end product looks pretty good. And now you can just see me kind of extending the actual deck, uh, the dock area, which I'm probably going to have even more of these docks and really kind of make it a bit bigger. I'm planning to have some sort of um, dry dock as well, uh, which I'll be built in. You can now just see me kind of building up a path to get actually to the uh, to the actual sawmill. And yeah, just adding a little couple, couple of trees just for decoration as well. And I wanted to start on with uh, actually building the shops this episode as well. So you can just see me kind of laying out a basic framework and working my way around this kind of simple house um, that I'm actually going to be using for, for one of the shops in it as well. It also adds a nice kind of detail and, and fills in this kind of gap that we've got here. It makes the kind of house look a little bit smaller, which you kind of expect from a small town. And again, you can see me building another one. So I really want this one to have a kind of Nordic style, and I've also built it on even, which I usually build odd with a lot of my builds. Uh, but I do do even every so often just to mix things up. So you can actually see me kind of going with this kind of. Uh, I wanted two different kind of roofs. Well, not two different roofs, but two 
the same roof style, but going on different directions and then kind of intersecting a little bit. As you can see here, it just kind of just works its way into that kind of top level, which looks really cool. And you can just see me adding the extra detail just to finish off this really, really simple kind of house and shop design uh, just on this higher part. And what I wanted to do as well is build this kind of angled or off angled um, small kind of fishing stand because it's also a fishing town. Dakodale is also a fishing town, so you can just see me kind of building this really simple, simple design, really small. And you can just see me adding the extra kind of details onto it with the signs that have fish on it and also putting in the carpet on top, uh, which adds a kind of counter effect and adding a couple of crates around as well. And another thing I want to do with this episode is actually set a style for the kind of towers, um, towers, the kind of military buildings and what will eventually be the style that I'm going to be using for a castle when I get around to it. Uh, so you can see me just kind of building up this kind of tower that gets smaller as we go up and also building this peach roof on it and just going around the sides and adding these extra kind of roofs on these sides which just give, give it a little bit extra detail. Um, because uh, Dakadel is a kind of mainly log based thing, I really wanted to go with wood quite strongly for this style of, of tower as well, as you can see. And another thing that um, was actually mentioned by Snowblaze was a kind of fishing station on this dock, so I've actually ended up building out just this small pier that goes into it. And now you can see me building a small house. This is actually my small house tutorial. Um, I've actually kind of taken it and, and put it into Dakadale. So it's a really, really simple house, and I really like it. Um, it's kind of quite simple, quite nice, has a nice roof style. So I've actually gone with the front porch idea and also using the, the kind of back, um, back chimney as well. So you can just see me adding the extra kind of details in here and just making sure that it looks really, well, kind of as nice as it can. Um, and it is quite a nice, simple design, but it also gives us another residential area. And in this kind of pond that we have here, I wanted to add another boat. Um, and you can just see me putting around some leg pads, and that's actually a jumping game and jumping puzzle as well. You guys could try out at a later time. Um, so this is another kind of idea that I, I had from um, the Apocalypse Gaming, which was to go with an inn, um, which is a really nice idea. Again, I've moved it up to the top of the hill, so I wanted to kind of have this really big kind of style, so it has this really nice overlook with these big windows over the actual kind of port and over the uh, over the docks and what I want you guys to do for this episode is I want to actually name this inn or this tavern um, I want you guys to actually come up with a name for it so if you just do uh, something like tavern and then put a name in um, I'll grab that in the comments section and I'll actually name the tavern whatever it is whichever one sounds the best um, because at the minute Dagadell tavern just sounds pretty crap or the inn of Dagadell or whatever so I really want some sort of kind of interesting name um, to actually name this one. Um, so you guys will actually have it in on the actual end map. And now you can just see me adding in the extra kind of balconies. And I can see the end product right on the top of this hill, which is a really nice kind of big, big uh, inn, which I'll probably be doing another video just for doing the interior where I'm just sort of walking around. And you can just see it from where the lake is there. And you can just see me adding in an extra path to actually make my way up to this inn, because we didn't actually have a way up there before. And you can just see me just adding a little bit of extra trees and things like that, just because it does add a lot like extra if you work them in. And one thing we really needed for, for the guests was actually somewhere where they can actually uh, leave their horses, so I built a kind of stable. And this is kind of like a really strong roofed one. It's quite big as well because it's going to have all the all the hay and everything inside it. And you can just see me building a path to the inside. And I also wanted to add a little bit of extra detail so you can just add, see me adding those kind of extra details on there. And again, I came to this kind of uh, big square that we actually have here, and I decided to build another shop, just another small one. I'm just messing around with this kind of really high Nordic style roof as well. Um, so pretty much most of the build on this one is actually a roof, uh, which I hardly ever do, but it's got these really large windows, and it, it turns out quite well, I think, in the end. Um, it's quite a nice, simple design. So here you have it. This is the kind of end product of uh, the second episode of Dakadale. So we've got all the docks, the extra kind of warehouse, 
and then we've got the smithy there and we've got a couple of these shops here as well just starting to build kind of up into the town and really fills it out now you can see the inn as well which I want you guys to actually help me name and we've got the tower which kind of sets the style that I'm going to be using for all the other towers as well in this kind of in this map and in this world we've got the nice simple uh, kind of Skyrim style sawmill as well and a couple of these kind of extra residential houses just in the outskirts and also that kind of fishing station which is on this small pond here so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of the deck rages if you have make sure you comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next episode <laughs>